Hi, welcome back. And uh, today, in today's uh, episode, we are going to be talking about a very interesting uh, philosopher cum poet. I call him as the Confucius of India. And his name is Thiruvalluvar. He's a Tamil uh, poet and philosopher. Uh, lived back very back, you know, we are almost like 2000 years. And we still don't know um, what was the time when he lived, but uh, it's somewhere goes between 300 BC to about 680. Uh, but he's somebody uh, very similar to your Sant Kabir of North India, who's a 15th century poet. He's also similar to Vemana of a 17th century Telugu poet. Uh, both of them have very similar work that they have done. And uh, Thiruvalluvar's his, his work is, 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 is what is called Thirukkural, and it is a 1330 verses. It's a couplet. Uh, with uh, exactly seven words in this couplet. It's a seven meter, uh, four words in the first line and three words in the second line. And uh, it's uh, 1330 um, verses there. Um, and these verses were broken down into three parts and uh, three sections, so to call. And the first section deals with virtue. And it's called, in, in, in Sanskrit, it's called Dharma. In Tamil, it is called Aram. And the second section uh, deals with uh, material well-being and that's uh, called in Sanskrit it's called Artha and in Tamil it's called Purul. And the third one is, um, is, um, is, is, is Kama and Kama in, is, is, is a Sanskrit word and deals with uh, desire and in Tamil it is uh, called Inbam. Um, and so these are the three sections under which there's roughly about 30-40% in across these three sections is what he deals with. Uh, what I really liked uh, uh, about um, Thiruvalluvar uh, Thiru is that uh, he uses really simple, um, uh, you know, uh, principles. He brings out uh, principles in a very simple, with simple examples that even a lay person can uh, can follow and understand. And we'll probably talk a little bit about four or five verses that I know uh, that I thought uh, would be interesting uh, for us to talk about here today. But his um, his work is translated in English and many other languages, so it's an easy read. Uh, I've read uh, his book in, in English translation, um, but uh, we don't know uh, much about his background. He's, uh, uh, we know he lived in Tamil, uh, Tamil Nadu and he wrote Tirukkural in Tamil. Um, uh, it, it, around the time, it, interesting period of time, there has been in his work, um, there has been some influences of Jain and Buddhist philosophies. And uh, some even say that he's he was a Jain or maybe had a Jain leaning, um, which is uh, not a far-fetched idea if you were to look at the time where he lived, 300 BC to about another 300, 400 AD was when Jainism and Buddhism really started becoming very popular uh, all across India and particularly in South India as well. And then there were a lot of Jain monks in Tamil Nadu and Jain monks in north of Karnataka. So it's not a very far-fetched uh, idea about that. The uh, Another reason why they probably believe that way is it's a, his, his entire Tirukkural uh, uh, is not sectarian at all. It is, uh, there is no religious leaning um, in, the, in, the, in, in, in all the verses. It is quite a uh, non-partisan, non-sectarian set of uh, uh, verses. It's about his own personality, we don't know much. Um, he was also um, thought to be a as as come from not not very learned background he was probably a weaver he was probably a farmer um, and you can see uh, that connection with uh, nature and with with uh, with simple things in life in his work and that's uh, uh, that's something makes it even more endearing and Thirukkural is very well regarded and respected in in Tamil literature is one of uh, you know one of the um, important things around um, these um, these verses are even taught today in school. I wish we celebrated them, um, you know, across India because I think uh, whenever I read Thirukkural, I kind of think of Confucius because the way he brings out the points are very interesting. So let's talk. I mean, let's look at maybe four or five, um, you know, kuras. So one of the first, one of the things it talks about is uh, is about friendship, and it says that uh, there is a verse. Um, you know, I'm going to uh, show the verse in Tamil. Udukai irandavan kai pola. But uh, I've only learned the English version of it is that a true friend is, is someone who, uh, who not only helps uh, another uh, but helps in a 
you know, very quickly, I think he really wants to bring out the point that the a friend in need is a person um, who, uh, you know, helps very quickly. And he uses an analogy of a slipping dress and he says, like the way your hand in, instinctively and in, instantaneously reaches, reaches out to catch a slipping dress, that's how a friend um, comes to help another uh, friend. I thought that was a very interesting analogy to use for friendship. The other uh, interesting uh, verse is uh, is around um, you know how uh, how does a son behave? Magan tandai kaatrum budavi, even tandai enno tran kol enum sol. It's like a greatest gift that a son or a daughter uh, can give for a, to a parent is to make the parent proud and make everybody around. Um, to talk about hey what has my, what has your your parent done your father or your mother done to get a son or a daughter like you and this is something a very interesting way of thinking about how do you live your life how do you live your life is to is is in, in, in conduct yourself in a way that um, you know people praise your your parent and that's a it's a very good way of connecting um, what you have done with your upbringing and values that your parents have actually instilled in you. Um, a third one which is uh, which he talks about is that he says, you know, never forget a good deed done to you and immediately forget a bad deed done to you. Nandri marappadu nandranru. Nandralladu andre marappadu nandru. It's a very interesting uh, contrast that he brings in there. It says in you know, one side, always remember in the other side, immediately forget and it's a very practical advice as well if you were to look at um, you know you don't want to carry burden of uh, you know a negative feeling within you and he says just you know um, let, let let that go let that go and then just hang on to uh, things that you can be grateful about and the fourth one I want to talk about is about delegation இதனை இதனால் இவன் முடிக்கும் என்றாய்ந்து which is actually very interesting from a business uh, conduct perspective as well. He says, um, you once you have assessed that a person is well qualified for a job, um, you know, trust that person, give the work and get out of the way. And this is something, a very interesting verse. And I would say even today it is very relevant. So one of the things I notice is that some of these things, even though has, has been written almost like, you know, 2000 years ago, it's very relevant even today and I and, and I enjoy reading all of them and if you have if you like it you should also read it and the final words that I um, I want to talk about is that again another thing that I would say works very well in a business and you know kind of a situation is that think as much as you want think deliberate before making a decision um, but once you made the decision, never look back and never regret. And I think it's a fantastic advice, even uh, you know, even today for all of us. Um, and I think uh, with that, I will end this segment on Thirukural. Um, I wish we were uh, promoting uh, you know Thirukural as Confucius of our um, you know our history and our culture. Um, as much as we learn Confucius, I, I have I've read more Confucius, I've read more uh, Sun Tzu than, uh, than Thirukural. That's, uh, that's something I, I wanted to kind of bring out, uh, bring out. So this whole series of the episodes that um, I'm talking about is about uh, bringing some of these lesser known part of our history and culture. It may not be only history, it's also about our culture or personalities. We don't know much about, um, uh, we don't celebrate enough uh, of the personalities that um, uh, that that we have in this really ancient and rich um, uh, you know culture and land. Uh, thanks for joining us. I hope you enjoyed this segment on Thirukural. Um, next time we will we will pick another topic on Indian history and culture. Thank you.